Hi all, let us discuss question number 48 of K 2015 chemistry. The question is, the value of G and the number of signals observed for reference standard diphenyl picryl hydrocell or DPPH in the solid state ESR spectrum are respectively. Options given are 2.0036 and 1, 2.0036 and 3, 2.2416 and 1 and 2.2416 and 3. So in this question we have to find out the G factor and the number of ESR signals. These are the two things we have to find out in this question. But before solving this question we must understand what is electron spin resonance or electron paramagnetic resonance. ESR is nothing but the study of molecules and ions containing unpaired electrons by observing the magnetic field at which they come into resonance with the radiation of non-frequency. So this term unpaired electron is very important in ESR or EPR because it is applicable only for the molecules and ions containing unpaired electrons. It will be observed when the magnetic field at which they come into resonance with the radiation of non-frequency. So that condition for resonance is H nu is equal to G into mu e into B0 where G is called as the G factor and mu e is a constant which is 9.273 into 10 raised to minus 24 joule per tesla and B0 is the applied magnetic field. Here in this picture, you, as you can see, when the magnetic field is off, the electron spin levels are degenerate. But when the magnetic field is on or when we are applying the magnetic field, these spin levels will be splitted into two as ms is equal to minus half and ms is equal to plus half. The energy difference between these two will be G into mu e into V0. So when this G into mu e into B0 will be equal to the equal to H nu or the frequency that will come into resonance. So this spin magnetic moment of an electron which has the spin quantum number S is equal to half will be proportional to its spin angular momentum. So we can write it as mu cap is equal to gamma e into s cap where this s cap is the spin angular momentum operator and gamma e is the magnetogyric ratio and mu cap is spin magnetic moment operator where this gamma e is equal to minus g e into E divided by 2 Me where G is the G factor, E is the charge of electron and Me is the mass of electron and from this G value is a constant which is already calculated as 2.003. So here itself our first answer we got as 2.003 value of G is 2.003. Now we have to find out the number of ESR signals in the solid state of diphenyl picryl hydrocell or DPPH. So this is the structure of diphenyl picryl hydrocell or DPPH and it is usually used as a standard in ESR due to its extreme stability. In solid state number of signals will be equal to the number of unpaired electrons. So here as you can see in this nitrogen there is one unpaired electron and number of uh, signals will be equal to 1. This is in solid state. But in solution state, since the effect of solvent will be coming into effect and the number of signals will be equal to 2 Ni plus 1. Here, it will be 2 into N will be the number of equivalent uh, nuclei. Here, two equivalent nitrogen nuclei are there. So, 2 into 2 into uh, I is the nuclear spin. So, nuclear spin of nitrogen is 1. So, 2 into 2 into 1 plus 1. This will be equal to 5. So, in solution state, ESR signals of DPPH will be 5 and in solid state it will be 1. So, our question was the value of G and the number of signals observed for the reference standard 
diphenyl picryl hydrosyl in solid state esr spectrum as we already told the value of g is 2.003 so there are only two options with g values 2.003 as a and b so there itself we can cancel this c and d options now when we are seeing the second second one is number of esr signals in solid state so in solid state number of esr signal was one so we can rule out the possibility of option b so the answer of this question is a for further reference you can go and check this nptel video module 11 Lecture fifty three ESR spectroscopy one by Dr. Sayan Bagji in CL Pune and Dr. Anirban Hasra from ICER Pune. This is the corresponding YouTube link. Thank you.